Good morning, Mike from the Fulcrum. Beautiful day here today. I'm going to do a little bit of gardening, putting the spuds in. Now I know I talk to many people that say, you know, they can't garden because they have a, an apartment or a, a small property, doesn't have any room or too much shade. Um, in my community, there's a number of free garden plots you can apply for through local churches, through the city. Usually you have to apply uh, February or March and they give you approval. And then you get your own plot. This plot's four by six. I'm gonna put just strictly about uh, three, four different kinds of potatoes in here. This would be like my uh, potato salad garden. Planting potatoes can't really be anything easier. Just dig them in about three inches, put them about a foot apart. Cover them over, check on them occasionally, mulch over them, hill them up if you appear to have any potatoes coming close to the surface, and just let them go. Water regularly and fresh potatoes. Now, years ago, I always had a garden, particularly when my kids were little. We used to call it the pasta garden. We used to grow everything we could uh, use in uh, making pasta sauces and spaghetti and uh, stir fries. We'd have like uh, Roma tomatoes, cherry tomatoes for add a little sweetness. We'd grow garlic, we'd grow uh, basil, snow peas and things like that. And then uh, the kids would go out in the evening, pick stuff from the garden and then into the pot. So from uh, the garden to pot to table, you know, maybe 20 minutes, world's freshest spaghetti sauce. Many of these community plots are well provisioned as well. Uh, this particular one, uh, they've made an arrangement with a local nursery to provide free seeds for uh, vegetables and even flowers. And uh, compost is provided, manure is provided, water is provided. And my part of the world, May 24th weekend is usually the best time to plant. That's usually the last day we'll have any chance of uh, a hard frost that would kill anything you planted. I'm planting the potatoes a little early because I'm going to mulch on top of them with fresh cut grass which will compost and generate a fair bit of heat for days. So even if it does get cold over the next week or so, it's not going to make a difference here. Gardening's not uh, something that's very difficult to do. Pretty much follow the directions on the package and you're good to go. A lot of noise. <laughs> Bit of a noise here. Everyone has their hot rods out now. That's uh, the nicer weather's here. But nothing could be easier than gardening, really. I mean, you follow the directions on the package. Make sure things are watered regularly. Weed, or if you're not a big fan of weeding, what I do when I mow the grass, I take the clippings and I spread that over between the plants and acts like mulch and keeps the weeds down. Also breaks down and adds extra uh, nutrients to the soil. Not only that, there's nothing better than uh, Knowing that uh, you have access to food you don't have to buy, or it's been all uh, adulterated by chemicals and fertilizers and Lord knows what else governments now seem to want to put in our food supply. Well, there we go. That took about a whole, whole half hour to get those potatoes in. Another couple of weeks, they'll be all sprouting up. I'll put a little bit of mulch on them. Just keep an eye on them, make sure that they're well watered, and leave the rest to nature. As always, think clearly, breathe deep, enjoy the day. Get out, be resourceful, plant a garden. If you happen to have more than you can use, donate to your community. These days, it's sorely needed. It's Mike from the Fulcrum. Have a great day.